Welcome to Staffworks Explained. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. For the repeat viewers, we thank you for the support that you have accorded. In this episode, we'll be talking about Africa Integrated High Speed Railway Network. These are planned uh, uh, infrastructure projects that are planned to be constructed in different parts of the world to enhance connectivity and to increase connection and trade in Africa. Through the African Continental Free Trade Area, which is a trade block that was established in 2018 by 54 African countries, Africa is aiming at creating a market for goods and services within the continent. And this is aimed at promoting the free movement of capital and labor. However, this cannot be achieved because we have a problem of interconnection. We don't have a tr uh, developed transportation network. Africa needs to create a reliable and fast transport system. Today, the entire continent has a, a network or a radio network of about 75,000 kilometers on the service of 30.2 million kilometers squared. This translates to a density of approximately 2.5 kilometers for 1,000 kilometers squared. The world average is 23 and so for Africa, uh, lags behind when compared to other continents. In uh, Asia, we have 8.8. Uh, in the high income countries, we have 46.9. So apart uh, from uh, this, the other problems that uh, hamper integration and to a large extent movement of trade. Then we have, uh, we have African railways consisting of uh, single lines penetrating inland from the coastal seaports with the little connections and uh, with the exception from Southern Africa and some parts of North Africa, there is no penetration of uh, railway networks. The average technical speeds for, of uh, African railways are about 30 to 35 kilometers per hour and the commercial speeds are even lower. 16 countries do not have railway lines or sections of international lines. The international or the national railway networks in sub-Saharan Africa are mostly independent of each other except some parts of Eastern and Southern Africa uh, railway system which are interconnected. Other Africa interconnected railways are those of Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal and Mali and uh, Ethiopia and Djibouti. Others they are not connected. Africa railway networks are characterized by different gauges. We have meter gauge and uh, standard gauge railway or SGR as well as a host of other divergent, uh, divergent technical standards on, and uh, specification. This results in the inability of the Africa to develop interconnected and interoperable uh, railway systems for the most of the continent. Different gauges, braking system, tractions and uh, others uh, hamper the interconnectedness of this railway. It is imperative, it is with this in mind that the continent has envisioned uh, the development of Africa Integrated High Speed Railway Network. This is an ambitious project which is aimed at uh, connecting various regions and countries in Africa through a modern and efficient railway uh, system. The project seeks to improve transportation uh, infrastructure, facilitate trade and economic development and also enhance regional integration, promote tourism and cultural exchanges uh, across the continent. When it comes to history of these uh, good uh, big project. The Africa Integrated High Speed Railroad Network can be traced, or its history can be traced way back in 1960s. In the 19 in 1963, Organization of African Union, which was the predecessor of the African Union, adopted a resolution calling for the construction of a Pan-African Railway Network. However, the project did not materialize due to lack of funding and political will. In 2013, that is uh, uh, some years, almost 60 years uh, later, the African Union revived the idea of Pan-African Railway Network. The AU Agenda 2063, which is a blueprint for the continent's development, includes a goal of connecting all African capitals by high-speed rail uh, by 19, uh, 2063. In 2016, the AU launched the uh, Africa Integrated High Speed Railway Network project and the project uh, is being led by the African Union Commission and the new partnership for Africa Development NEPAD. 
the African Union Commission is responsible for the planning and coordination of the project, while NEPAD, or New Partnership for African Development, is responsible for mobilizing funds and technical assistance. While plans and progress vary by region, some of the key aspects of this project include objectives of this project, uh, it's uh, to address the transport challenges by providing a reliable, fast and efficient mode of transport between African countries. The project is aimed at fostering economic growth, boosting intra-African trade and also creating employment and uh, promotion of sustainable development. So it uh, also aims at uh, Pan-African connectivity. The network aims to connect major cities and economic sectors uh, across the continent. It will foster regional integration. It also envisions seamless travel across borders, allowing for the movement of goods and services and people within Africa. Then there is aspect of high-speed uh, rail technology. The project emphasizes the implementation of high-speed rail technology enabling trains to travel at speeds typically exceeding 250 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. This technology allows for reduced travel times and increased capacity. In terms of infrastructure development, the project involves the construction and upgrading of railway infrastructure, including the laying of new tracks, development of stations, and the enhancement of uh, supporting facilities. This includes construction of bridges, tunnels, and uh, maintenance of depots, to support the high-speed railway system. It will be a uh, public-private partnership where the project will involve partnership between governments, international organizations, and private entities. These collaborations will help mobilize the necessary funds, expertise, and uh, resources to implement the project effectively. Uh, then there is a, an element of regional integration. The project promotes regional integration by connecting different regional uh, economic communities such as Economic Community of West Africa ECOWAS, East African Community ESC, the, the Southern and Af the Southern Africa Development Community SADC. It also facilitates the movement of goods and people and services across these regions, contributing to economic cooperation and development. In terms of benefits and impacts that are expected from this project, the implementation of the high-speed railway network in Africa is expected to bring numerous benefits. This includes improved connectivity, reduced transportation costs, increased trade, enhanced tourism, job creation, and improved access to education and health care facilities. The project also aims to reduce road congestion and promote sustainable modes uh, of transportation. It is important to note that the integrated uh, high-speed railroad network in Africa is a long-term project that requires substantial investment, coordination, and collaboration above among African countries and international partners. While progress has been made in certain regions, the full realization of the network is still work in progress, or, work, or WIP. The implementation of this has made some strides. Remember, it's a long-term project that is expected to take decades to complete. The first phase of the project, which will uh, connect major cities in North Africa, is expected to be completed by 2033. The second phase of the project will be which aims to connecting major cities in East, West, and uh, Southern Africa, is expected to be completed in 2063. In 2013, the African Union endorsed this project as part of its Agenda 2063, which is a long-term plan for development of Africa. The EU, or the AU has since commissioned a number of studies to assess the feasibility of the network and to identify potential routes. In 2017, the AU announced that it will be seeking $100 billion in funding of the project, and the EU has said that it is open to public-private partnership to help in financing the project. In 2019, the AU pro approved a master plan for the project. The master plan identified 10 priority corridors for the network, including routes connecting Lagos in Nigeria to Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, Cairo, Egypt to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia and Johannesburg, South Africa to Nairobi, Kenya. The target is the achievement of the first three objectives is by 2023, namely interconnecting all the landlocked countries, connecting regions of Africa together with establishing a trans-Africa beltways. The master plan of the railway net, uh, link has also been analyzed and prioritized. The Dar es Salaam 
Kigali Link combined with Kampala Kigali Bujumbura as well as Welvis Bay Windhoek Gaberon Pretoria route these has been uh, identified as pilots for the accelerated development in addition 10 other regional pilots have uh, been identified as priority projects and will be subjected to feasibility studies as soon as possible the planned network will connect the 16 landlocked countries in Africa to major seaports and uh, neighboring countries to establish uh, a route across uh, different regions, create east to west, north south land bridges, and interconnect African capitals. This will be the interconnection of a major commercial and economic hub to boost economic growth and uh, intra African tr free trade area as well as complement the African continent free trade area. The master plan for 2023 plans to have 35,000. 528 kilometers of rail construction in Africa with the following project. So this will uh, be half of what is existing currently. The first three are accelerated pilot projects actively under study or uh, under construction. The objective by 23 are to connect the 16 landlocked countries to seaports and provide interconnection between uh, different regions and provide uh, trans-African corridors. The master plan for 2023, 2043, that is, will expand on this network and connect all political and economic capitals by rail. We have mentioned of accelerated pilots. Uh, we say that this project will be done in phases. The first is accelerated pilot project. Uh, one of them is Kigali Dar es Salaam, which is 1,476 kilometers. We then we have Kampala Bujumbura, which is 596 kilometers. Wolf is Bay in Namibia to Gaberon and uh, finally terminating at Johannesburg, which is 1,643 kilometers. So those are the three accelerated pilot projects. Then we have the 2033 master plan uh, as part of the pilot projects. We have uh, we have the first one, Tunis, Algiers, Casablanca, which is 1,981 kilometers. We have Douala, Cameroon ba uh, to Bangui. We have Kampala, Nairobi. We have Da Bamako, which is 1,147 kilometers. And then we have Ethiopia and Djibouti. We have Asmara, Addis Ababa, Lusaka, Beira, Alexandria, Khartoum, Wadugu, to Abidjan, a distance of 1,120 kilometers. Niamey, Niger, to Kotunou. Uh, then we have Nairobi, Mombasa, which has already been completed. We have Bamako all the way to Khartoum, a distance of 5,384 kilometers. We have the suburb Djibouti, which is already completed, 637 kilometers. We have Port Noel, Point Noel, Brazzaville, Kinshasa to Bujumbura, a distance of 1,755 kilometers. Johannesburg, Moputo, Pretoria, Durban, Algiers, Abuja to Lagos, Lobito, Lusaka, N'Djamena, Bangui, Brazzaville to Luanda in Angola, which is a distance of 2,240 kilometers. We have Addis Ababa, Nairobi, Dodoma, Lusaka, Gaberon, a distance of 5,000 kilometers. Then we have Atum, Addis Ababa, which is uh, uh, in planning stage. We have Luanda, Windhoek, a uh, distance of 1,882 kilometers. We have Mbeya, Lilongwe, Harare, Johannesburg, uh, to Maseru distance of 3,000 kilometers. Then we have Lilongwe, Malawi, to Nakala, which is a distance of uh, 815 kilometers. We have, then we have Lamu Juba, which is in planning stage, a distance of 1,547. Bangui, Juba, a distance of 1,551 kilometers. And Juba to Kampala, a distance of uh, 672 kilometers. Then we have the 2043 master plan, which includes lines such as Alexandria all the way to Tunis through Benghazi and Tripoli. Then we have the Casablanca line uh, all the way to Dakar through uh, Nokchot. Then we have the Dakar all the way to Douala, a distance of 8,000 kilometers, and to pass through Banju, Conakry, Monrovia, Abidjan, Accra, Lagos, terminating at Douala. Cameroon. Then we have Yaounde, Rebrevire, uh, passing through Bata, a distance of 594 kilometers. Then in the Eastern Africa, we have the Mogadishu, Addis Ababa, uh, 
In Southern Africa, we have the Windhoek, Cape Town, which is a distance of 1,633 kilometers. Then we have the Maseru, Cape Town, and uh, a distance of 1,135 kilometers. Tripoli in Jamena, a distance of 2,437 kilometers. The construction of these lines is progressing, and uh, already we have one which is complete between Ethiopia and uh, Eritrea in Kenya. We have a distance of 700 kilometers which have already been completed. In Tanzania, uh, the completion is uh, of various stages is in progress. Nigeria has done its part, some of its parts. Ghana has done it, some of its, its parts. Cameroon, uh, the Kribi Mbalam is uh, now under construction as, as we talk, as we speak. Uh, there are various challenges that this project is facing. It's a massive project that is, will take so many years. So there are various challenges including financing, land acquisition, environmental impact, and also political will. And given that this is a long-term project, it will cast sustained political will from African government. So despite these challenges, the integrated High-speed railway network is a promising project that has potential to transform Africa. African Union is committed to the project and is working to overcome the uh, the issues that we have mentioned uh, that are facing this big or massive project. We'll uh, do other videos to see the progress of various uh, pilot projects, accelerated uh, sections of these big project, and uh, also this will answer the question whether this ambitious project will ever be completed and uh, it will help uh, Africa to integrate so that it can be easier for Africans to move from one area to another and uh, easing uh, movement of goods and also movement of labor. So thank you for watching this video. If it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Watch other videos that you have done uh, on, the, on similar topics and also on others. So welcome for more videos in future. <laughs>